Another important question consumers want to answer is whether their medicines are covered under a specific plan. Let's look at the lowest premium silver plan to see what we need to do to find out what medicines are covered. There is not a direct link to information on covered medicines readily visible. So we selected more information and then followed see more detail. We then tried the plan's benefit summary document. It took several tries to get the summary of benefits document to open. We knew by checking our health plan's name that we needed this link to get to the right summary of benefits document. When the document did open, we found a link to a list of covered medicines on page 3. We tried the link. However, when we clicked on that link, we got an error message. Going back to the summary of benefits document again took several tries. And we had to select the right choice to get the right summary of benefit document for the health plan we were reviewing. Once that document opened, we copied and pasted the web link name this time and edited it slightly to get it to the right website. On the website, there is a downloadable file for the drug formulary or list of covered medicines for 2015. The file lists the medicine's names, whether it's a generic or brand name medicine, and what tier or level of out-of-pocket cost for the consumer. This plan has five tiers for different levels of out-of-pocket costs for consumers. Information up front in the document describes what those tiers mean, though specifics on copayments or coinsurance for each plan are back on the Health Plan Finder website. The formulary is long and includes an index at the end. The index is helpful as the medicines on the list are organized by therapeutic area using medical terms which aren't consumer friendly. For example, a consumer would need to know to look under anti-hyperlipidemics for cholesterol lowering medicines and under anti-neoplastics for cancer medicines. Going back to our main search, we looked at the second lowest premium silver plan to see what we needed to do to find a list of covered medicines. Again, we had to select find more information and then see more details to find a link to covered medicines in the summary of benefits document. We found a link to a list of covered medicines on page 3. We tried the link, but got an error message. Going back to the Summary of Benefits document again took several tries. Once it opened, we copied the website name, pasted it in a new web browser, edited it slightly, and got to the right website. That link took us to the plan's home page. It's not obvious where to find the list of covered medicines. After some trial and error, we found it under Customer Service. For 2015, there is only a downloadable file for the drug list. This list uses therapeutic categories, again, that are not consumer friendly. 
For example, antihyperlipidemics are where you need to look for cholesterol-lowering medicines on the formulary. The list also refers to tiers for coverage and gives abbreviations for qualifications on accessing the medicines, such as PA for prior authorization. The consumer has to look back at the plan documents and information on the Health Plan Finder website to determine what those tiers mean in terms of the consumer's out-of-pocket costs. What may not be obvious to consumers is that both insurers use one list for covered medicines. You cannot buy into a more generous list of medicines covered by selecting a gold plan, for example, instead of a bronze or silver plan. You will lower what you pay for medicines out of pocket but each insurer just has the one list of which medicines it will cover.